everybody! In this video I'm gonna announce that the Mr. Walker EP is out. And I will also be summarizing Mr. Walker up until this point, like from the, from the start of the project. And I will be um, giving my thoughts on the new EP. So if you wonder, by the way, what's with the phone and why I'm looking at it, it's because I really like Reddit, you know, just there's not lots of interesting topics there and I can just casually scroll there while doing this video. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> this is my cheat sheet so I don't forget the topics I'm supposed to talk about in this video. Supposed to, sounds like I'm a manager. So before I start, I just wanted to mention also that um, I changed the name of this channel. It used to be called Studio Erdo. ERDO, which is the uh, first two letters of my first name and first two letters of my last name. But since I don't actually run a studio, I thought um, that's kind of misleading. So I got this. Oh, ship! Audio works instead. Haha, <laughs> funny guy, you know? Uh, so yeah, it's just a more general sounding name. Um, doesn't imply I have something special like a Studio. So yeah, that's, that's with the name change. So the new EP is very ambitiously called. Insert title here, EP. Yeah? Yeah? What the...? Check the description box below to find it. There's a total of five tracks on it. Four of them are mine. Well, all five are mine, but four of them are original songs from me. And the last one is a cover of a video game uh, song. It's a cover of a song from a video game called... Uh, the game is called Battle Chasers Night War. And uh, I haven't played it myself, but I just saw a trailer and thought that music is really awesome. And the song is called The Beginning. And uh, so I thought, yeah, I have to make a metal cover of that somehow. So I did. Uh, beautiful music in that game. So I'm releasing the EP basically for free. Or like a pay what you want type of thing. Which means, apart from being able to listen to it on Spotify and YouTube, you will also be able to download it from my Bandcamp. So you can put it on whatever device you want in high quality for offline listening. If you choose to pay something for it, you will be um, funding the, the, the new or the next sound of Mr. Walker. Because I'm gonna buy a baritone guitar. I realize I kinda need that little bit of extra range um, and down tuning stability. So, to get, a, to get the guitar sound where it actually needs to be for this type of, type of music, I'm gonna I'm buy a baritone guitar, and you'll be funding that if you help, or help out by buying the EP. You can also buy the first album if you haven't, so that's really appreciated. And uh, if you don't want to buy the EP, that's totally fine, obviously, since I'm releasing it this way. But you can still share the links with people, you can get the word out, you can point people to this video or to my Bandcamp, have them listen to the music, and uh, yeah, just help me in whatever way you can. That's really, really appreciated. Because I don't have a, I don't have a label or a PR management team behind my back, you know, or backing me up, rather. So I'm just doing all this because it's fun and uh, I really love making music. So uh, in this video I also wanted to sum things up summarize things up for uh, Mr. Walker, like from the beginning to now. And back in 2012 I made an entire album, single-handedly, and uh, well, except the vocals, of course. They were uh, sung and screamed, shouted by Gustav. And uh, you can check it, check the description box below for some of his stuff. He's really amazing. He also wrote lyrics for the entire album. And then, after that was released, I kinda focused on uh, getting myself proper education, so I jumped around trying some different things and I landed in engineering. So I'm soon done with that, I'm, uh, I just have a little bit left and I'm soon done with that, you know, how it can be when you're a student. During these years, from, from the first album to now, I noticed uh, discomfort growing in me, so um, it was like something is missing and I knew I had to make, I should probably make more music, you know, I kinda had that thought. And then uh, it wasn't actually, it wasn't until I started working on this EP that I actually realized how important music is for me. So while working on the EP, I kind of, <laughs> yeah, I just realized that this is what I need to be doing much more of on my spare time. So less slacking, 
more making music. This realization kicked me into a different or a new gear, and I'm more than ever interested in making Mr. Walker a proper band now. So I, I have a couple of people on the on the hook, and I'm trying to. My ambition is to make a make a proper like a real band from this, so we can get out there and play our music and play shows and make great music together. Also, the realization of uh, I need to make more music thing also made me realize I need to be practicing a lot more. So in 2018 now, um, I'm gonna be focusing a lot on my technique, on my guitar technique and some drumming uh, technique as well. I kinda lost uh, quite a bit there on the drumming part. But yeah, I'm gonna work a lot on that. So I may not, I may not write a whole lot of new songs and material, but I really need to get the technique up so I can write this, the things I actually want to write. And that brings me to my next point, which is my thoughts on the EP. As I said, my technique and skill aren't really there where I wanted them to be for this EP. And that hindered me from writing what I actually intended to write in the first place. I also wrote lyrics and was set on recording vocals by myself, like me actually doing the vocals. And uh, I thought I was gonna be able to pull off some kind of Devin Townsend magic on this shit, but nah, it didn't work out. So I decided to just make it instrumental and skip the vocals altogether. So with it being instrumental, I um, I already knew from the start that I um, this this EP wouldn't be a milestone for me, you know. So, uh, but I did decide to make it a teaching experience nonetheless. So uh, I, I decided to I set a strict deadline. So I would be done with the music part of this entire project. You know, the mastering would be done before uh, 2018. So basically until midnight uh, on New Year's Eve 2017. And four hours before that, I was done. So I could celebrate New Year's with my girlfriend and my friends. And, uh, well, given the fact that I started writing the songs in mid-November, I um, it was kind of tough to pull this entire thing off. I wrote the songs, recorded them, mixed and mastered really fast. And now is a good time, by the way, to thank uh, Andreas Grimell, Rickard Jansson, Erik Larsson and Jonas Lind for listening to the, to the different mixes and giving feedback. Without their feedback, I would have been... Uh, well, the music would have sounded more crap than it already does. <laughs> Noni. Yeah. The sound isn't what it could be, but at least I got it done by deadline and I think it's like listenable, so pretty cool EP, I guess uh, you should check it out. It might get released with vocals in the future, or maybe I'll chop the EP up and use the best parts to uh, sort of build a foundation for my for Mr. Walker's next album. So uh, anyway, I hope you really enjoy this EP, check it out, listen to it, share it with your friends, and if you want to, I think it's worth it, of course buy it, uh, pay, pay something for it, and you will be funding my new guitar and uh, the future sound of Mr. Walker. It is really appreciated if, if you do whatever, basically. Just checking it out is really appreciated. So uh, do that and have a good time. See you later. Ain't nobody got time for that!